Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Disney's private island, Castaway Key. This is our very first day here, and we have an excursion planned. We have the extreme getaway package, which includes snorkeling, tube rentals, a bike rental, which I'm not sure if we're going to take advantage of. Oh, yeah, and the Stingray Adventure. Thank you, Coda. <laughs> how, could, how could you forget the Stingrays? <laughs> but anyways, this is our first day here at Castaway Key, and we are extremely excited to be the first public guest back in well over a year. I will say that we do need to join a virtual queue system in order to get off the ship. I tried to do it earlier. You can see it over here. I screen recorded it from my phone. It says that there are 172 groups ahead of us to get off, but it does say that we are estimated to get off between 8.55 and I think it said 9.30. But if you do have an excursion, you do not need to join the virtual queue. So, we technically did not need to join the virtual queue, but in order to show you guys how easy it is, go on the app, it's on the homepage, join the group, and it gives you a time to come back and how many people are ahead of you. Very, very easy process, and it shouldn't take much time at all to uh, get people off the ship. But anyways, enough talking, let's head upstairs, grab some breakfast, and head on out to the island. I'm sure all these birds that are making a lot of noise over there are just excited to see the cruise ship back once again because they know they're dining on french fries today. Entering the queue will allow for an orderly and physically distanced departure from the ship. Now for those of you on Morning Port Adventures, your ticket, which is located on your phone, will be your access to the gangway. And please ensure you enjoy your adventure. Now once you're directed by the app to make your way to the gangway, please ensure that you have the following in your hand ready to go ashore. All guests are required to have their Key to the World card out and ready to present to our security team. Also, any guest 18 years of age or older is required to have a government-issued photo ID with you, and a driver's license will suffice. Uh -huh. Of course, health and safety is a top priority, and to promote the well-being of everyone, please remember to take your facial coverings with you and wear them in the designated locations they're required on Castaway Key. This includes while disembarking the ship until you get outdoors, while riding the trams, in merchandise shops, while in line at Cookie's Barbecue, including while receiving food and beverages, and while using public restrooms. All right, we are all dressed and ready to head on down. I have my Etsy made castaway key mask going, so we are ready. And my mask actually matches Koda's uh, sarong, I think it's called. But yeah, it's really cool. I'm so excited. Ooh, buddy, land, sweet land. <laughs> the best kind of land we can be on. Woohoo! Holy cow. The ship is huge. And you can also purchase water coolers here. That's really cool. So they have six waters for $13, single water cooler bag for $17, and survival water six pack. That is awesome. Holy crap, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. Hey, mate. How are we doing today? Doing well. How are you? Find some treasure? Yes. Let me know if you find any. I'll split it with you. 80%, 20%. Well, I mean, I do have some treasure right here, but I mean, I don't think I can split her with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you find some treasure, let me know. I'll split it with you. Sounds good, mate. Sounds good. All righty. All right, Even 50 50 split? Mm. Nope. Ah. Oh. Okay, for you, I'll do it. Oh, thank you. Very, very much. <laughs> thank you. All right, so we are waiting to get on the tram. Masks are required when on the tram, even though you see some people not wearing them. And it has started to drizzle. <laughs> this is a magnificent view of the ship. I love it. It does appear that there may only be one tram running, so just bear that in mind when you come. Uh, you may have to wait a little while. On the plus side though, it stopped raining. All right, we're on the tram. They're boarding every other row. One family per row. We'll be arriving at Scuttle's Gold Tram Stop. You should disembark here for Scuttle's Gold Children Program area, Marshall Point Famous Wheel Skeleton Day, Castaway Rays Stingray Adventure, yeah. Watercraft Rentals, Gilt spins and boat snorkel round and she sells Seashells. Hey, Donald! And there's Goofy in his pirate outfit. <laughs> Excuse me, but what is this? What in the Jurassic Park? Godzilla over here! <laughs> what is that? It's the biggest lizard I've ever seen! <laughs> He's kind of cute. Oh my god! Freaking Komodo dragon! <laughs> Jesus! Okay, we're gonna leave you alone, sir. 
have fun. All right, so we got ourselves all checked in for our Stingray adventure. We were originally scheduled for nine, but we didn't realize that it was like a set time. We thought it was like a generic time for everybody. But yeah, um, if your app says nine, if you got the Extreme Getaway package, be here at nine. <laughs> but we were lucky enough to get rescheduled for 10 o'clock, which is like 10, 15 minutes away. So not bad at all. We have claimed our area next to some palm trees. And something to note, all the hammocks are gone. There are no hammocks on the island. And my thinking is that because there's no way to sanitize the hammocks. So yeah, just be aware if you're coming over to Castaway Key and you're looking forward to a hammock like I was, you're not gonna find any, which is unfortunate. Take a look at this, guys. It is close to 10 o'clock in the morning and look at how empty it is. They're just chairs as far as I can see. I'm not sure if there are still a lot of people left to get off the ship. We'll come back in about an hour or so and see, but this is insanely empty. So just to get an idea of the capacity of the cruise ship that we're on, there's not a lot of people here at all. All right, guys, we're getting ready to head on over to our Stingray adventure. I'm going to go ahead, switch over to the GoPro. Our girls are trained. They are trained to enter the station here on my left. Push them up, swim inside, so you guys will pet and feed them. And then they will exit over here on my right. I'm take some jello. Oh, it's slimy. Wow. What is jello? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so you guys go together on this one, right? Eh? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Gianna, you guys can better. Hey, Gianna. Alright, it's not bad. Beautiful. Nice little squid here. Look at the eyes. <laughs> yum, 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 Hello. He's zooming. Beautiful. So guys, this is where the barber's located. It's where it's trimmed. Yeah. Wow. Oh, hello. You're close. <laughs> All right, guys, well, now it is time to snorkel. We just got done with the feeding. Let's go explore. Can we just talk about how Nugget is living his best life right now? Like, he looks way more chill than I do. <laughs> just look at how gorgeous this is. This is the kayak and paddle boat rental area. You have a big old area where you can, you know, go out and do whatever you want to do. This is where the Stingray Adventure is. But, wow. I never thought I'd be seeing this view again, to be completely honest with you. It's been so long. All right, so it's just after 11 o'clock. This is a current look at the beach situation. And relatively speaking, this is nothing. This is empty compared to what I have seen in the past, especially on the larger ships. Those of you guys who have sailed on the Dream or the Fantasy before, you guys know that this is empty. There are still many, many chairs available in this area. This is like the first area that people come across, so a bunch of people are gonna be over here. I can see down there, there is a lot of empty space. And here we have some of the merchandise available right next to the first set of restrooms that you come across by the Stingray Bay. And uh, you do need a face covering to go inside. We're not gonna go inside right at this moment because Cody needs to go to the bathroom and then we're gonna go get lunch. But yeah, just a quick look. 
we'll take a more in-depth look later. Completely forgot we needed our face masks to go into the barbecue place and get food. So, on our way back to our chairs. All right, let's get lunch at Cookie's Barbecue. And you guys can see the same thing happens over here. You go up, you tell them what you want, and they will give it to you. And they have Powerade, oh my lord, yes. Thank you. I haven't seen Powerade on the ship yet on the upper deck, so I'm very excited. All right, so you guys can see all the important health and safety signage around and the physical distancing markers leading up to just about everything. They make you sanitize your hands and they have little wipies there too. And disposable masks if you forget yours. All right, starting things off, they have potato chips, coleslaw, potato salad, corn salad, and macaroni pasta salad. So you can see they have the mayo packets and the ketchup packets over here and all the other little condiments. What is that? Oh yeah, I'll take one of those please. Um, yeah, can I have some grapes please? Anything you ever need? Sorry? Anything you ever need though? Um, watermelon as well please. Looking at anything more? That'll be it for now. Thank you so much. All right, here is our spread. We got some fruits, ribs, potato salad, macaroni salad, hot dog, cheeseburger, a little uh, lemon pastry dessert, and of course we had to get a cookie. And here is Coda's plate as well. The first of, I think, maybe two or three. We'll see. <laughs> the food here is really good. And someone is either tired or full or both. <laughs> But we still have to get ice cream. There's always there's always room for ice cream. I just got done with my second plate. Definitely a lot more uh, ribs and chicken this time. I, my, my only complaint is that I, the, the ribs are definitely leaning more favorable towards the bone side than the meat side, but you have to get multiple in order to really get your fill of meat. And I don't particularly care too, too much for the potato salad. After the first like scoop, you're, you're fine, but I wouldn't recommend getting a second one for me at least. The chicken is still really solid as well. I'm just too full for that. We've got some more watermelon as well. Dakota's gonna take our chips back to the, to the chair. And when we head on out of here, we're gonna go ahead and get refills on our drinks and fill up our little mugs that we brought with us. So Coda just pointed this out. A lot of the wood in here looks relatively new. And looking at it, yeah, it, it's either very, very well maintained or they took the opportunity over the you know year and a half long hiatus from cruising to completely rebuild these. Either way, really nice. All right, a couple things. Number one, we are very full. We're not eating again until dinner, I'm sure. Number two, uh, it's just after 12 o'clock and if you guys have been to Castaway Key before on a very full cruise, you'll know that the lines are normally out the door at this time and wrapping around. You would have to wait a while in order to go get food. They have multiple stations open. All of them have the same exact thing and there is no wait at all. That is lovely. I love this. No matter how full you are, you always got room for ice cream. All right, guys, it is time for us to go snorkeling. We're gonna go ahead and grab our stuff and our inner tubes, head out into the water. We're gonna switch over again to the GoPro. Look at this, look at what Kona found. Hi, <laughs> how adorable are you? I don't know how you caught that. You just saw him moving? Yeah. That is so cool. The tiniest little shell too. I've never seen one so small. Okay. That is so cute. Okay, wait, are you gonna put him back down and hope nothing happens to him? Okay, bye. 
<sighs> okay, so we just got done with snorkeling. We were out there for about an hour and a half. So let me just let you guys know. I don't care how good of a swimmer you think you are. I'm a pretty good swimmer, but when they ask you if you want fins, get the stupid fins. <laughs> Don't make my mistake. We were out there for about an hour and a half and I mean not only did I have a bunch of trouble with my with my with my with my mask Because the water kept getting in it because my head is shaped really weird But I didn't get the the fins and we went all the way down and By the time we got all the way there I was exhausted and I had to paddle all the way back It was easy getting there because the wind was kind of pushing us there So had that little push but getting back. Oh my god. It was horrible and my arms are jello my feet and my legs hurt so much so we're gonna lay down but just to show you guys what we did so this is the main snorkel area over here we swam all the way down to that sandbar looking thing pretty much there's a line of buoys just before that so we swam pretty much all the way there and then had to slowly make our way all the way back but not before stretching from one end from that lifeguard tower to the other and then you know everything else in between trying to see all the different things that you guys have probably already seen in the uh, GoPro footage because of Coda but yeah swimming back that was a nightmare but yeah I just gotta say for as tired as I was coming back to this was an absolute lifesaver if there's one thing you should do bring a tumbler and fill it with ice water from cookies and you'll have a nice cold water when you get back to your chair this has saved my life just for a brief moment I want you guys to understand that this is my view right now I'm just laying down on my chair relaxing the breeze feels really nice I'm right in the shade and I open my eyes for my nap and this is what I look up to see this is just absolutely incredible this vacation was so needed especially after not being on one for almost two years I needed this. I don't know. So we just got back to the room, got out of the shower, and came out and saw that we already dipped. We leaving. <laughs> we looked out the window and we're like, there's no land. But yeah, we literally just left. So yeah, basically what we're going to do, we're going to sail out and we're going to turtle pace ourselves in some circles and then come right back. So I know it's been 10 years, but... I do not remember being this exhausted getting off a of castaway key. Like, I guess it's just mostly the heat. Like, it is ridiculously hot at castaway key. Coda got nice and burned, and she's got a real nice tan going on. I got a little burned on my nose, too. I typically don't wear sunscreen, but I definitely felt the need to put a little bit on the top of my noggin today, but I definitely neglected the face. But yeah, I mean, all that, all that swimming and walking around, it's exhausting. It's honestly exhausting, but it's still so much fun. I can't wait to go back tomorrow, but either way, dinner's in about a little less than an hour now, so we're just going to chill out in the room for a little bit and then head on down to dinner. It is pirate night tonight, so not entirely sure how they're going to modify it. It's not like an official pirate night like you remember with any deck parties or pirate fireworks, but... Are you excited? I am very excited. <laughs> Disappointed and disappointed in my girlfriend. But anyways, we'll see what's in store for this newer version of Pirate Night. All right, we are freshly relaxed, showered up, dressed, and ready for Pirate Night. Hey. Ahoy, Pirates. Ahoy. <laughs> Animator's Palace? Yes, Animator's Palace. Please wash your hands. Sanitize your yeah. hands, sorry. It's okay. 82, no? 82, yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. You have your bandanas here if you have to wear it. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> thank you. Hello! Hi! <laughs> I bring some water. Alright, thank you. Check this out, guys. All the pirate artwork and the pirate music. 
They're all dressed up like pirates. I love it. All right, we got our specialty bread. And I also wanted to point out that the napkins look like a little pirate ship. I know it's kind of hard to, whoop, I know it's kind of hard to see. But look, it's a little pirate ship. That's so cool. <laughs> I know it's focusing on Coda's face now. Let me not focus on Coda's face. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. And we also get your favorite pirate bandanas. If you guys have ever been on a Disney cruise before, then you know that these pirate bandanas are a staple of pirate night. I'd wear one myself, but my head is a little too large for these things and they don't tie up properly. So I'm just gonna end up giving mine to Coda or maybe a giveaway item in the future. Nugget wear it. <laughs> yes, Nugget can wear the bandana. All right, and we have our specialty pirate menu here, the specialty cocktails. Let's see, we have vegetable samosa, marinated shrimp, crab cake, uh, pitrat, uh, carpaccio, carpaccio, that's definitely carpaccio, cilantro soup, mango soup, orange and quinoa salad, uh, baby gem, okay, uh, bread service, the Johnny cake with mango dip, that's what we have up here. For the main course, we have Jack's Treasure of the Seas, and you guys are more than happy to pause the video if you want to see exactly what is offered. Cilantro marinated Caribbean grouper filet, jerk chicken, lamb shank, I might get that, uh, privateer strip loin, ooh, ooh, ooh. let's see, and the vegetarian options as well, and your lighter options. Again, you guys are more than happy to pause the video if you guys want to see. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this again, the specialty mug of the night? Yeah, this is the special mug of the night. You can choose, or empty, like you can choose like a soda, a Sprite, or with this special drink that is fruit punch. Hmm. Um, well, go ahead and get that with the fruit punch, with the special drink. Special drink? That's yeah. Like I'm good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> she got her turtle last night, and yeah, I'll get a, a I'll get a pirate drink. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Nkoda has on her pirate gear, and then. Um, <laughs> Koda cannot handle how cute Nugget is. Look at that. <laughs> oh no. I, I mean, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Nugget, but I will admit that is pretty flippin' adorable. <laughs> Are you proud of that? <laughs> You're welcome for donating my headband. All right, the specialty drink has arrived. It came in this little blankie cup. How much was your souvenir cup yesterday? Like $13? $13.25. $13.25, so I'm sure this is going to be something similar, if not just a little bit less. I can't imagine it being any more, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, that is so good. I love it. That is delicious. Oh, yes. Highly recommend. I don't even remember what this is called, but this is good. And our crab cake has arrived. I'm very excited. I'm a big fan of crab cakes. Ooh, Treasure Planet. Yes, very underrated movie. My all-time favorite, most underrated Disney movie. I love it. Next to Atlantis. The best Don't eat your dress. Scally Wives and Buccaneers. He comes seek an adventure and saw the old pirates, eh? Oh. Well, you've come to the proper place. Back the hatches. It's time to slice the main grace. He We didn't know! You are by far the fiercest looking bunch of pirates I have seen! Tonight, as we were to have full day of adventure, and but now it is time to do what we pirates do best, which is party. Yeah. Yeah. They call me Captivating Carla! <laughs> Pretty good at the high seas if I don't say so myself. <laughs> now it is important to note that these pirate bandanas are an essential part of our pirate couture. 
work. And they are not for have they ever been intended to be used as a facial covering. Sally! <laughs> Alright, so I have my chilled mango soup as a secondary appetizer. Can't wait to dig into that. And Coda is <laughs> in the middle of poking around on her on her shrimp. She just took a bite out of the carrot that's right there. How was the carrot, babe? It tastes like salsa. It tastes like salsa. Interesting. Alright, well, you enjoy your shrimp and I will let you guys know how the mango soup is. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is really weird. I mean, I hate that they call it soup. I guess it's basically almost con considered like you could compare this to the strawberry soup that they have at uh, Grand Floridian at 1900 Park Fair. Basically, you know, something similar except in mango form. It's very weird, very mango -y. It's basically a smoothie <laughs> served chilled, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, it's just, you know, my mind is telling me soup, which should be hot, but it's not bad. Oh my days, this is the lamb shank. Holy cow, that looks incredible. And then Coda got what now, the grouper? Yeah. And that is her grouper. That looks really good. All right, and as a secondary, we also got Jack's Treasure of the Seas to share. It's got shrimp, scallops, pasta, tomatoes. Looks really, really good. Not gonna lie, I got it mostly for the scallops because I am a sucker for scallops. Okay, so let me know if you guys are in the same boat as I am. <laughs> 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 yeah. I feel like the first two days on the cruise, on any cruise, people are like, food, 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 and you're eating everything that you see with no remorse. <laughs> by the end of the third, or by the third day, you're, got, you're, you're like, oh my god, what have I done? I feel horrible, let me pace myself. Does anyone else go through that? First two days, food, food, food. Third day, oh my god, pace yourself. That's what I'm doing right now. We're on the third day, we're slowing down, relaxing, pacing ourselves, not eating nearly as much food, and definitely saving room for dessert at the same time though. But, oh, when I get back home, like, carb-free diet. <laughs> like, I am going hardcore carb-free because I have had so much carbs. It's not even funny. It is not even funny, and I have slight regrets, but mostly, <laughs> Coda says she's got no regrets, but, <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, the joys of a cruise. That's why I can't cruise so often, because you eat so much. But I feel like if I do decide to cruise often, I will know to not eat so much within the first few days. You know what I mean? I haven't cruised in 10 years. Or used the gym, yeah, absolutely. I haven't cruised in 10 years, so this was definitely like a, a, a nice change for me, absolutely. All right, and here is the dessert, the bananas in paradise. Just banana on banana on banana everything <laughs> with some raspberries. Looks pretty good. I'm excited. And Coda got a fruit cobbler. All right. What in the world is this? This could be an octopus. Maybe. Could it be like, um, what is it? What's his face? Captain, um. Oh, um. Davy Jones. Davy Jones. Yeah, could it could it be that? I don't I don't know. I think it's I think it's Davy Jones to be completely honest with you. It's got a face and, and little little tentacle things and everything. Good lord. I love it. That's awesome. Did you see my hand? Yeah, little tentacles. <laughs> So 
so we just got back from our dinner. We are out at sea once again, and I just want to show you guys this. Look at that. That is going to be a glorious sunset. I don't know if we're going to be able to see the sun go below the clouds. It looks a little hazy down there, but wow, that is something. And honestly, this is, this is why I love cruising right here, just for views like this. It's honestly incredible. Do a quick pan around. This is amazing. You can see the rainstorms over there. And look, there's a rainbow over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can barely see it. It's right here. It's gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna watch Coda try to uh, save what's his face from you know the bed. We're gonna try and move him over and put him on the table over there. But first, we must remove the gold doubloons. That's that's one, and two. All right, he is now eyeless. All right, carefully remove the specimen without dropping him. Uh, he's already starting to become unfolded at the bottom. <laughs> All right, move the hat, set him down, and there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, so evening activities. We are all dressed up like if it would be a formal night, and we are going to go get some professional pictures taken at the Shutter Studio that I believe is on deck five. So we're gonna head on down, take some nice pictures, and you guys will be able to see them at the end of the video. Or you guys could always just follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links to those down in the description below. That's a very good necklace. <laughs> How about you bring all your hair and front? The hair looks good in the picture. Center your necklace a little bit. I'm gonna have you like cross your legs if you can. Cross your legs. The other way. This one on that one. And then move your hands on them. That's perfect. And lean forward a little bit more towards me. That's perfect. <laughs> So keeping in theme with Pirate Night, we have uh, Pirate Mickey down here taking pictures with guests. Alrighty, so we just got done with the Shutter's Portrait Photo Studio, and <laughs> it was a lovely session. It was a really great session. However, they neglect to tell you anywhere that the pictures that you take in that studio are not included in any of the photo packages that you purchase before going on the cruise. So that is something completely separate that you got to pay for and they were saying that the photo packages for the, the shutters start where the photo packages for the regular cruise end so for our photo package it was upwards of 200 dollars for unlimited for all the photos that we took on the on the cruise <laughs> they're basically saying that the photo packages for shutters start where that ends if that makes any sense so we're expecting at least 200 dollars for the almost 100 pictures that we took we had to have taken close to 100 pictures it was really nice but they intentionally leave that out from anything and they weren't allowed to he said he wasn't allowed to tell me any of the pricing beforehand so tomorrow we're gonna go and look at the pictures that he took and then he can tell me the prices so just bear that in mind Hello, Mickey, how are you? <laughs> it's good to see you. I like your pirate outfit. <laughs> now, I remember a long time ago, I was on a cruise and you came and you saved us from the pirates on pirate night. It was incredible, from Captain Hook, yes. You came sailing down on a zip line and everything. It was incredible. <laughs> you did. They all the time with you. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Mickey. Can we get a picture? So after each guest, we put our stuff down over here. As soon as we're done, he comes over and he wipes everything down. I love it. All right, so because we're more than likely not going to be getting those professional photos that we took in the studio, we decided to stop in the main atrium and take a bunch of other pictures that are included in our photo package. So I'm going to throw a couple of them in here. Bam, 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 bam. 
There you go, four of them. Oh, she's doing an extra one, five. Dakota sounds like she's on her way to go fire somebody. She walking like she needs business. <laughs> In the past, or maybe you've never seen a game show like this, what we're going to be doing tonight is we're bringing up three couples onto the stage. And we're going to be asking lovely questions about them. We're going to dig into their personal lives and learn a whole lot about them. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be a fantastic experience. But let me go ahead and start talking about what we're looking for in our couples this evening. And you can see numbers on top of the chairs. Now, our couple number one. We are looking for a couple who... Well, it might not be the most experienced. We're looking for maybe a newlywed couple, or a couple who's been married for just a couple years. Somebody, you know, still they look into each other's eyes and you see butterflies. You see fireworks taking off. You just, you know, they're on the phone at the end of the night. When they're away from each other, it's like, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, just hang on the phone already, kind of thing. You know, that kind of stuff. All right, so we just got done with Match Your Mate, and it's probably for the best that we didn't film any of it because Coda and I were actually a part of it. And we shared a lot of information that is not safe for YouTube, so, but it was still really fun. We didn't win the um, the older couple, one that's been married for like, what, 30 something years? Yeah. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. And do I regret it? No. Did I have fun? Yes. Is Coda upset with me? Probably. <laughs>